Hey, this is Dan from Laser Toys, and uh, I'm going to show you the new Tenergy TB6 AC 80 watt, which is really cool. It's a it's a new little um, Tenergy product. product. <laughs> Can't even talk today. That uh, is an intelligent digital balance charger. So this means it has some new features. I'm going to show you some of those features now. Um, one drawback I want to mention is it does not have a uh, power cord to hook up to a car battery. You got to get that separate or use your old one or something. But it's a standard uh, plug that on the old TB6 AC will work fine. Anyway, let's power it up with AC. Uh, it takes a second for it to come on. And you can see it's got your standard stuff. Uh, you got lipo battery, nickel metal hydride, NICAD, lead acid, then you got your save data and load data. So you can save and load uh, settings. But you've got this new external function, so this is kind of cool. So this external function, if you hit start, it'll take you through all the uh, features that you had. You can measure internal resistance of your battery. This is awesome. We haven't had that uh, on any of the TB6 AC. You can measure um, the resistance and it's going to give you all the numbers here. We'll hook up a battery and check that. I'll show you how that works real quick. Let me get a battery hooked up. We've got a four cell here and you plug it into the balance port, four cell balance port. All your balance ports are on the side. So you don't have that, that cord coming out and then your balance port's out here now. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to check the, let's hit stop here. We're going to hit start. It's going to check your internal resistance on this battery. And you'll see, okay, so we got cell one is four, then cell two is seven, cell three is seven, cell four is six. Anything under 10 is good for a new battery. Um, that's fine. Um, even 15 is still a good battery. So it may be used a little bit or maybe a cheaper battery. But 15, when you start getting above that, your battery is going to start going downhill pretty quick. Um, the next thing we got here is um, battery capacity. So let's see if we check start. Let's see. Um, I think you might have to hold this button down. There we go. Okay, so it's at 48%. That's kind of nice. It shows you the voltage and everything. Um, that's how that works. That's the first time I've done that. So, all right, we're going to hit stop. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, let's stop again. Go back. We have a lipo balancer. Oh, this is so you can set it for lithium ion, lithium ferrite. LiPo or whatever. So if we go to LiPo and we hit charge, it's going to balance the battery for you by discharging. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I like that too. That'll be kind of neat. And you can probably let's do that again. I'm going to guess you can. Yeah. Okay, this is going to give you all your cells. So I'll show you as you're balancing. So if you if you hit start, get it to balancing, and you hit decrease and increase, you can go through all the different settings uh, to read your, your different cells and everything. Okay, so that's cool. Let's go back over. Let's go over to a LiPo charge, and I'll show you how to do that real quick. So here's a LiPo battery, and uh, you want to let's go to balance charge. Let's see what else it has in here, though. Got fast charging, storage charging, discharging, charging, and balance. Okay, so we've got a four cell here. So I'm going to say we're going to do this. Okay, you can set your charge rate. Okay, here's the next coolest feature. You guys, look at this. This thing is going up to 8 amp charge rate. Now, as long as you've got a rating on your battery that will let you charge at 8 amps, you can use that feature. That's going to be a lot quicker charging and it's going to be co pretty cool. Now this is a 5C charge rate battery and most of your new batteries are a 5C charge rate so you can do a uh, let's see it would be a like a 2000 milliamp um, 
battery should have no problem taking an 8 amp charge. So, so that should work out really good. 1C on a 2000 milliamp would be 2 amps. So 5 times that would be 10. So you could charge a 5C charge rate, 2000 milliamp at 10 amps, but we're only, only going to do A. Now this is a 2200, so it can go even a little more, but 8 amp is the max. Okay, then we'll set our, our balance, our uh, voltage here down to 14.8, and now we're going we're gonna to charge, and I'll show you some cool stuff in here. Okay, so we're, we're going to confirm this. It's charging. This will also give you your outputs by using the increase and decrease buttons. Um, it's going to give you all kinds of data here. It gives you voltage, the amp, the amp of charge rate, and this will automatically adjust to how charged the battery is. The um, 16 here is now 18. This is how many milliamps you're putting into the battery. When you get done on a battery that's been discharged, that's going to read about the capacity of the battery. Um, your uh, number over here is just how many seconds have gone by and how many minutes. Uh, so it, you can even set that in your program settings for uh, to expire, say, if it charges for more than an hour or something. Always charge your battery in a, in a lipo-safe bag. So use a lipo-safe bag, place it inside of there and charge it. Um, I mean, treat this thing with care. Don't unplug it and plug it in while it's charging and things like that. And this thing's going to last you a long time. It's a nice little charger. It's a very high capacity charge rate for something this size. And it's in a neat little package. Got a pretty decent manual, too. The manual uh, will give you a lot of information. So hopefully you like this thing, and we're going to sell it at a good price. So look for it on the website. Thanks.